Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, last time when William Samai Ruto agreed with Raila Molodenga to go into bipartisan talk, at one point Azimio missed it because when it came to outlining, outlining the issues that are going to discuss, the matter to do with the high cost of living did not come out clear. And the Kenya Kwanza used that opportunity to say that Azmio was not even focusing on the issue of high cost of living, it was other things. This time round, they have another talk which has been initiated by the former Nigeria president Obasanjo. And now with this one, Azmio is much focused on the main agendas. What comes out clear, number one, <laughs> it is the cost of living. And today we have seen Azmio has released uh, the list um, of their team members, five clean member team, which has covered properly, in my view, uh, as far as the stronghold of Azmio is concerned. And again, above all, they have also listed out the main agenda of discussion from the Azmio Lomoja side. They are also giving a warning to Kenya Kwanza that you bring your list you're not going to object whatever you want to put on your list as your demand of uh, uh, your, your demand of uh, discussion as well as we ask you to respect our demands the way we have listed there. So that's what is going to go on and seemingly they are giving it a time frame of one month. It's going to start from August 1st and it means to the end of August, maybe 30th there, it should have come to a conclusion. So a time framework of one month to bring out the results. <laughs> I want us to go through uh, what Azmi has shared. Eh? But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and uh, you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. Master, thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please gives the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. I want us to check on this list and also to confirm really if it is going to represent the real face of Kenya, uh, sorry, as the Mio La Umoja and if indeed they have done a proper balance because I have also seen another discussion somewhere else with some complaints coming in uh, Mother Karua the Mount Kenya, and all those. This is what I'm saying. Press release as the Mio delegation to dialogue committee. Further to our statement yesterday expressing commitment to dialogue with the Kenya Kwanda for a speedy and a sustainable resolution to the country's problem and after internal consultation, as Mio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition party has today named its delegation to the talks as follow. Number one, His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka, delegation leader. Tick. Number two, Honorable James Opio Wandai, the leader of my, my Minority Party National Assembly. Tick. That one was very clear that they are going to get the leader of minority will be part of this dialogue and the leader of majority. Number three, Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, part leader, DAPK. Good one. And I will tell you why. Uh, number four, Honorable Okongo Omogeni, Senator Nyamira. Good one. I will also explain to you why. Number five, Honorable Amina Mianzi, MP Malindi. Okay. Our position remain that no party to the negotiation can claim a right to determine for the other what to raise and what not to raise. Azimio will respect Kenya Kwanza's right to bring all its issues to the table. We, oh, we expect Kenya Kwanza to do the same with, uh, with our issues. The issues which the team has instructions to put on the table are, <laughs> that's how skis happen, 
hapo ndo sasa mambo yanatokezea high cost of living audit of 2022 election hiyo ni kusema fungua saba bipartisan reconstitution of IEBC inclusivity in a national affairs and a respect for political parties in line with the constitution mambo ya poaching ya members of parliament ifike mwisho azimio is keen on a time bound program of talk that should take one month beginning august 1st and azimio la umoja one can a coalition party july 31st 2023 Now there have been uh, other claims that uh, Mother Karua has been pushing it that someone from Mount Kenya region should be part of this dialogue and for that matter Jeremiah Kioni she is right but again above all Raila has to do some balancing here and I have seen someone saying that ODM has been left out I think that is a uh, Robert Alai in my view he is wrong ODM is well represented here because if you check the leader of minority party Opio Wandai is a member of parliament elected on ODM ticket that is the face of ODM here <laughs> now Eugene Wamalwa played a role in uh, Azimio la Umoja they needed numbers and again as a part leader he has something to bring on table compared to <laughs> what mother karua brought on table with this one eugene omano is right to be a uh, part of this dialogue and eugene is coming with the two uh caps number one dp part leader number two raila is cleverly putting eugene omano on this list to represent the face of mulembe nation Our politics is local. In as much Raila enjoy super massive support in the western region, he always still want to have someone representing that face. And I have been saying as long as um the former Kakamega governor, Wikile from Beto Parana is in ODM, it will always come out very hard to put him on table when such matter is being discussed because he's part of ODM. Eh, unaona unless akienda hapo sijui vile itakuwa. It's always hard. From western Raila will always look for someone who has at least brought something on the table. Kwa mfano ile wakati wengine kulikuwa na Raila na Msalia na Wetangula. They had something they were bringing to to the table. Sababu kile mtu alikuwa anakuja na ubunge 14 14. That is close to 28 members of parliament so with that one you recognize them uh if you t- you look at a uh, okay okongo omogene who are and represent the abagusi abagusi nation is here well represented again this is another very key constituency for aila molo dinga the abagusi nation the mulembe nation the luo nation and the amina Mianzi now she's bringing the face of coast region that's why she's here because this number was limited to 5 there was no way we can have someone from mount kenya region because if you put someone from mount kenya region like what mother karua has been pushing for was that eugene omana should be kicked out and eh uh, jeremiah kion be replaced look at that yes you believe had quite good number of members of parliament but where are they now they are already in a kenya kwanza majority of them they came from mount kenya region not true again so it's a team that is already divided in one way or another again we are also looking on the number of votes that these people are bringing to the table go and check in western region how many votes did ruto got managed to get and what did Raila Odinga got even right in Vihiga Raila won against William Ruto yet Msalem Dabadi was was there as the prime cabinet secretary 
under the Kenya Kwanza umbrella. So with the, all this, you can't wish away the Mulembe nation. Then Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. Kalonzo Musyoka is coming with a solid voice of Ukambani, and again, he's senior here. So you can't also wish him away, and this was the person that Raina was looking for to lead this dialogue. <laughs> It will be interesting to see the kind of people that Ruto is going to bring from his side. I think that's what I can read in all of this issue. I don't know the problem with the Mada Karua. You know, in the previous election, to some extent, Rena was pushed to a wall and he made some mistakes somewhere. For example, if you check the lawyers voted because of the love they have for Raila Odinga. But if they were to check on other things, that vote was going to be divided. And even it explained even more how an aerobic gubernatorial election was voted for. Apart from sympathy or frustration that uh, Sakaja went through, there was also that element of betraying Mulembe Nation. Kitia ya Ugawa na Nairobi, Wamepea, Polika Pigat, Akikuyu. Mata Karwa running met Akikuyu. And then Kalonzo Musyoka well represented eh? Kama Prime Cabinet Secretary there. Waluya walikuwa support to Raila just because of the love. But remember, they had interest in Nairobi. Team Wanyonyi. Waliarebia Team Wanyonyi. Kisa hizi tukekua tuko na Team Wanyonyi kama governor. So I think Raila do not, does not want to make the same mistake. That's why he's assuming that issue of making sure that there is someone from Mount Kenya. So he has decided to go to his stronghold and uh, make these people be part of this bipartisan talk. So we can get close to Kura Mbaza Zemebiwa. Nazima ha wat pia okwepan and fail being part of that. Because remember when he went to the first handshake with the Uhuru Kenyatta, Alienda Pekeyaki, you know what happened? It destroyed NASA. People found a reason why to talk about betrayal and all those other things. If not, so with all this, unajua kikiumana unarudi nyumbani. Kwa kwa raila kikiumana zaidi, anajua nyumbani ni Nyanza, Western, the Abagus land, and then Okambani is another home, Coast region is home, and Nairobi is home. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for coordination of this conversation. Thank you, and see you in our next video.